spaying and neutering are surgical procedures for kittens and cats that are at least eight weeks old. Yes, you heard right. Kittens become sexually mature from four to six months. These surgeries sterilize cats to ensure they can't father kittens or get pregnant. Still, surgeries are invasive procedures, and it's the responsibility of caregivers to provide proper follow-up care. Here are several things you can do to help your cat recover and get back on his or her feet again. Your cat will probably feel out of it for the first 18 to 24 hours after the op. To let your cat rest and counter the effects of anesthesia, place his or her bed in a dim, quiet, and isolated space. The bed should be low to prevent any jumping, and likewise for the litter box as well. For that matter, avoid carrying your cat during this time as doing so too much might tear the sutures. If possible the bed should be in an area with cool floors, to soothe the surgical sore as your cat stretches out. Aside from the bed, provide a clean litter box and easily accessible food and water. For cat litter, use shredded newspaper, as regular ones containing clay or wheat can contaminate wounds. When collecting your cat post-op, ask your vet to show you the surgical incision on your cat's belly, if female, or on the scrotum area, if male. Take a pic of the incision as a reference for daily monitoring of the healing progress. Observe the surgery site at least once daily to make sure it's not swollen, bleeding, or oozing anything. If any of those signs show up, take your cat to the vet. To keep your cat from licking the wound, put a cone on him or recovery suit on her until the site is fully healed. The stitches for female cats, if not dissolvable, will need to be removed by the vet in 10 to 14 days. Apart from monitoring the surgical site, observe for other health warning signs. If your cat vomits after eating the night you bring it home from surgery, remove the food. Try feeding a smaller amount the next morning. If your cat vomits again or has diarrhea, or even pale colored gums, call your vet as soon as possible. Another warning sign is your cat not defecating for more than 24 to 48 hours after surgery. Your vet will probably give you feeding instructions, so please follow those. Otherwise, offer your cat about a quarter of its normal food portion two to four hours after arriving home. If your cat doesn't want to eat, just let it be and remove the food. Otherwise, you can give another small meal in three to six hours. During this time, keep your cat's diet safe and regular and avoid giving treats or junk food. It's highly recommended you follow the instructions of your vet regarding the medication prescribed. About 24 to 36 hours after surgery, your cat will likely experience some minor discomfort and soreness. As such, vets will give pets a shot of long-acting pain medicine. Experts prohibit the use of most pain relievers, including those that contain acetaminophen, aspirin, or ibuprofen. These are known to cause serious complications and in severe cases, even death. But if you think that your cat needs pain-relieving medication, consult your vet first. While cats typically recover well after neutering or spaying, it's best not to take chances. The quality of aftercare can make the difference between comfort and pain for your cat. If you have any concerns about your cat's recovery, do contact your vet for further advice. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe for new content weekly.